Alrighty, welcome back. Me and downtown John, we, we turned it over and turned it over and turned it over till we burnt the starter out of it. It did, it did run for, we'll say 15 to 20 seconds. It did run and it seemed to catch another cylinder when it caught uh, and then it stalled. We, we, we were messing with the time a little bit and then we stalled it. We burnt the starter out of it. So there's going to have to be a day where we're going to take the starter off it, the carburetor off it. We'll plumb the carburetor up. We'll fix the starter and maybe probably buy some new wires for it and stuff when it comes tomorrow will be monday today's sunday fun day so i'm gonna have a little bit of fun today but we'll probably get some new wires for it and just some stuff to maybe see if it can uh, muster up a little bit more spark um what i'm doing what i'm doing this for you know we're making a video on it what i'm doing this for this is a flathead um it's sitting here it's in a chassis the chassis is good on it uh, i'm going to build a race car out of it and when i say i'm going to build a race car it's for fun that's what I'm building it for. It's called the Pine Tree Jamboree, and it's flathead drag racing. And uh, I don't think it's for anything. It's just for the fun of it, which makes it even better because you can go down and just have a great time and not worry about competition. I'm not in a competition with nobody. Uh, I'm not a race car driver, and I never have and never will be. But I'm going to have fun building this car of whatever I have. Uh, the 36.4 is what I've chosen to, to make as a race car. It's nice because the truck... Uh, the truck has got a 36, 4, 35, whatever which one it is, 35, 36, doesn't matter to me. They both have the same body lines. But I'm going to use this as the race car body because it was sitting over there and it matches the top of the Merc, which we made into a cab over. I, my goal, this is my goal, is to go to the Pine Tree Jamboree with the truck hauling the race car that we made from junk. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm trying to be... I'm hot rodding is what I'm doing. I'm hot rodding. I'm using whatever I have in the doyer to make something and go have some fun. This chassis here, you know, it was for the 36 four door that I ripped apart. You can see that on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you want to watch it. But you can see how the chassis in the front seems to be okay. The steering's all good, but down in the back, it's it's toast. I've already cut the, the rear suspension out of it. I'm using every piece off this 36 Ford, 35 Ford, whichever it is. I bought it from Archie Costner in, in, in New Brunswick. I think we paid $2,200 for it. Uh, I, I managed to trade the engine away uh, for a build. I took the fenders off it and built a motorcycle for the Wharf Rat Rally on, I think, it's, I don't know what episode it is. I'm not sure. We built a motorcycle for the Wharf Rat Rally out of the fenders. Now I built a cab over truck out of the out of the top of the out of the four doors or whatever I had and there it sits there and I'm just going to use everything I have a flathead over there a v8 flathead over there but I'm thinking this seems much easier when that's sitting right there sitting right there in the chassis um, when I can plot that car on there instead of pulling the engine out of the car pulling the engine out of this installing the engine in the it might happen yet. I have no idea. But right now, I just want to get some suspension underneath the front of it so I can roll it around, so I can move it. Uh, you know, we can only work on it nice days, and that's what today is. It's a very nice day, Sunday, fun day. And you can see a little bit more about this if you go to uh, this old hot rod. Mike's his name, right? He, he has it. He filmed it, and uh, it looks like a fun time. That's basically what my goal is, to be able to drive down there. It's close enough for us. I think it's probably, what, a five-hour drive? It's close enough for us that we could, you know, it's reasonable that we can get there and have a little bit of fun. But that's what I plan on doing. On this video, I'm going to cut this front end out. And I'm going to, this is the cross member here. I want the cross member. I do. I think I do. I think I do. But I want the, the cross member, the straight, the axle, and the wishbones. I'm going to bring it over here. And I plan on plant, planting the cross member here and have the front here and try to get a gasser look and try to keep the rear end as low as possible that's what I plan on doing if I can make this chassis a roller then I can get it around and play with it a little bit more but basically what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut this out of here and uh, it, quite a job it's going to be but I'm going to do it I'm going to do it I think what I'll do is I'll cut the back off this sort of stuff right here, I'm going to cut this off. Some people say yes, some people say no. But what I'll do is I'll heim joint those. I'll heim joint those and I'll show you what I mean. Show you what I mean. Just a second. Bear right with me, baby. Bear with me.
I think you can get these at probably any tractor dealership, you know, any canter, speedway. These are, oh, heim joints, this is where the heim joint is right there. Then I can just replace all this stuff with heim joints, tighten the front end up, and it, it'd be nice to have a tight front end going down the track, I, I would think. So I just heim joint it all, just drill the holes so and put a bolt through it, just like that, make my lengths. That's what I'll do there, just so you know, just so you don't feel so bad as I'm cutting it up. But I'm gonna start cutting and uh, try to get the front end out of this and show you how what I'm gonna do. Just get a little closer. I don't know, it's probably gonna go all wee wonky when I start cutting it out, but gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. It was fun last night to wheel the, the engine over and have it run for, you know, 10 or 15 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever it was. It gives you hope. And then we burnt the starter out of it and I was thinking, oh, am I doing the right thing, you know? And uh, it's like Jolene said, you just got started. Don't get discouraged. But anyways, we got her, we got her, got her televated over. I think once we fix the, the starter on it, do a little bit of wiring on it, we'll be good as gold. Just gonna take a look at this and see what I should cut first. It's got mechanical brakes on it. You can see the rods there. Not sure if we're running mechanical brakes or not. Um, I know I'm not taking the steering column with me. I'm gonna cut that off now. Don't like that. So it jammed up on me. I didn't want to take that chance. Knock that off. I'm just going to grab a zip tie real quick so that's out of the way. So basically, we're building a race car to haul behind the cab over to go to the Pine Tree Jamboree for flathead drag races. So if you've got a flathead engine or a flathead car that you'd like to drag race and you're close to Maine, what a time you could have. What a time you could have. Just gonna, or I think anyways. I think it'd be fun for me and Jolene don't you, baby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut this off back here. Don't know quite know what I'm going to do when the front end when the front end falls out of this thing because uh, there's only one of me, right? There's only one of me. I'm going to cut that bad boy off. I want the wishbones. I'm going to split them. That holds it up. Probably should have a jack stand underneath here or something. Get a couple jack stands. <laughs> One there. I get another one there. Be nice if the chassis was good, but there's there's so much work to fix that when I got something like that right there. Also, I'm thinking. As you can see on the back of the chassis, when Jolene shows you with the camera, you can see on the back of the chassis, you see all the holes that it has. I would love to, or I'm going to, probably drill the whole frame in holes all the way up through, as many as I can feel with, you know, with comfortable with going down a track, but to make it look as light as possible, just because I'm having fun with it, right? Having fun with it.
And the reason, well, I suppose I could have went back a little bit. The reason I went up there is a little plug inside there. They've welded. I want to get to the end of it. This would be fun for anybody to have an old flathead and build a race car because it doesn't matter, you know, as long as you can go down the track and feel safe yourself. It's not like you have to register it for the road or anything. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to do that. Now, didn't want to do that. I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna cut the. I'm gonna cut the front of this off. Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut with the grinder what I can cut with the grinder and then I'll put the sifficator saw in it for what I can't get with the grinder instead of wasting my blade. I'll have to cut them off. I've tried to take these, these plugs out before and they're so hard to get out they're really a lot of work. I just want to get the front end of it right now I think. Never cut a front end out of the car before, so I don't know what to expect. Is it going to take off on me, flop and hit me somewhere, or what? I don't know. Thanks for the zip cut. Not a good way to cut, but I'm going for it. Not a good place to cut, but I went for it. Finished cutting this off down here. I want to stay on the outside of the chassis, I think. I think it's going to look pretty cool with this plunked underneath the front of that because the where the front end used to be you can see where the rubber mount is on the chassis it's right in the high spot of the arc of the front of the chassis we're going to put this piece on the front of the chassis it's going to bring the front end up quite a ways and it's going to shove that engine back inside the car which is going to look pretty dang cool you ask me it's going to look cool i think it is i think i'll just cut it the other way on it the steering I'll take off after, and I'll have to find a place to mount it after I get the front end in there. It looks like it might be somewhat trying, but that's the part of part of building these cars. It's like going for it. I'm not just going for it. Just going for it. Damn it. I don't like when it 
does that. It's going to pinch up on me again, I know it. Don't really want to hit it with the hammer too much because I don't want to dent it up. I want to use them. I want to use them. opened up here. Keep her opened up. See if we can... Yay for victory. Jolene looks amazing today. A little bit of Daisy Dukes on. A little black top. Beautiful. Hair's done nice. All straight. Gorgeous she is. Jolene's gorgeous. If you didn't already know. I had the pleasure of going out to breakfast with that hot lady this morning. Lucky man I am. I'm a Well, stay on the right path it could be. Yay! Looks like she's free. Uh, she might. Not sure what it's going to do on this side. I have no idea. All right now, would you? I'm going to trim a few things off this thing. And I left it all for the video just to show you what I'm doing and how I'm going to get it done. So if you want to cut a front end off your hot rod and do the exact same thing, I guess you're more than welcome, aren't you? I've seen other people do it. I guess it seems easier to grind them off than it does to get a wrench. That's basically what I'm doing there. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. Not as beautiful as Jolene, but a beautiful day. Hey baby, beautiful day, Sunday fun day. Also, I'd like to sort of get the Merc, the cab over, out and get it into the other shop and do some sanding over there, get that place cleaned up a little bit. It'd be nice to move a few things around here a little bit. We'll show you as we do it. That's what we'll do. We're do we do car content. Have to say it again. Thank you for the zip cuts. Thank you for the zip cuts. Ain't quite broke free, is it? Looks like it was.
Just gonna clear this stuff up. I'm gonna get a jack and a jack stand. Nice to work outdoors when you can. Nice to work outdoors when you can. And when we can't, we work indoors and be happy. So we do work indoors and be happy. Probably need them jack stands. I got jack stands as a result, haven't I? Pull this out of here. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to wonder. Can't get the front end that way. I can run it over top like that. I can leave it down like that. All right, guys, move a few things. Not going to keep the horns on it, I don't think. <laughs> Not going to do that. I'm going to try to get this cross member, this cross member, right out and use the cross member only. That's what I'm thinking. coming man why is that not tight no more what happened what huh that was just sitting in there i thought the front end was bolted in there i must have stole a piece off it so i have to be careful it's all going to fall apart <laughs> even the front end's not <laughs> Take it from the back. Now, I'm going to cut these, I'm going to cut those, and then I'll have to repair. Ah, well, I can, I can put them underneath, I suppose, for now just to see what's going on. I'm gonna move this back here. That works for me, look at that. Right back there, it worked fine. Might be a little front heavy, but. fall over oh not gonna get past that jack obviously I cut them right out of there because I do not need them I'm gonna make new ones and I won't get the front axle underneath there is what I won't get it's gonna take a look for a second it always takes a If I let the jack down, it's going to pick the back of that chassis up is what it's going to do. Uh, this one's here is up on the jack stands. I got a couple big jack stands here. They're a little too big. <laughs> I 
I got a couple more over there, it looks like, in my head. I'm going to jack it up as far as I can get it. It's got to go up further anyways to get to that front axle. So you can see... Just for shits and giggles, just for shits and giggles, this chassis looks like it would run right in, right inside that. Don't want to do that though, I don't think. I don't want to make it junky looking. I do not want to make it junky looking. I can't get any further because of this is going on. Cut that out. I'm going to cut both of them out. Don't need them. Well, that holds the wheels together. Wheels will take off on me. Ugh. See if I can get the big jack stand out here. Yep. Big Bertha's out. That'll work. Jacking one there now, I'm hoping. That ain't going nowhere. I don't think. Let her down, see what happens. Right there is where I want that cross member. Step back and take a look for a minute. <laughs> whoop, whoop. She's a funny looking thing, baby. She's a funny looking thing. Just, what can I say? What can I say about this? I have to get all this stuff ripped off and really get this cross member cleaned up, get it cleaned up, and then I can weld pieces to the end of the chassis to make it work. Until I do that, pull the front end out of it. What I'll do with the, I could show you right now, I suppose, but I can't. What I'll do with the, with the wishbones here, I'll come in here and I'll cut them on this side. I'll cut it here, I'll cut it there. I will bend it back until it hits the to hits the frame here we'll heim joint it we'll get this in we'll, we'll, we'll get this in straight we'll cut this pull this back we'll heim joint it and build a bracket there and we'll do the exact same thing I'll cut that one build over there and put a heim joint in that and put a bracket over there cross member welded in the front here I gotta I gotta beat this stuff off get it off the steering I know is close here somewhere where this is damp, this steering here was pretty close to this, so I'm probably gonna have to build a bracket underneath here or make my arm from my steering mount up here and make it shape different because I'm gonna build my own. There you go. Well, I'm sure the oil will run to the back. All right, so I guess I'm gonna start peeling this stuff off and getting the, and getting the, See if I can get it off. Let's go for it. Get the grinder. Cut some rivets off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to clean this part off and then we'll figure out how we're gonna connect it to the chassis. That's what we're gonna do.
And basically what I'll do is we'll make a nice mount, probably end up straightening the frame off here, straightening that off, put a nice piece of angle iron there, box that off, put a nice piece of angle iron, there, angle iron in there, and this can come right over and sit right on top of the angle iron so it can't go anywhere and make, start making the mount from there. Cool. Come on. So basically what we're making a gasser chopped 35 36 two door that's what we're making a chop gasser a chop gasser Jolene driving. These things are hard to get off. Wow. Uh -huh. One's out. That one's out. Cool. Just trying to relieve it as much as I can. Get a chisel and a hammer. And a pair of ice grips. And this stuff does not require, as you see me build cars. I do not have every tool that going. I have three grinders and a hammer and a welder. And I use Lincoln for a welder. And uh, you can build any car you want to anything you want to i want to give a shout out to mikey beckworth he's a he's a building fool that guy he's he's just giving her and uh, he seems to be you know he's have he has ha, he's having fun is what i can say if he's building things but it's going to give him a shout out because he's having fun uh, he's showing his process where'd i put the big hammer there's the big hammer over there just want to get this beat off as quick as possible there, the top one come off, right? Oh, come off. Hmm. Hmm. 
That didn't work out too badly. See how that popped that? Pop that off pretty good. These ones right here are the problem. I'm gonna... They're all connected in one way, other way, or another. Are they not? <laughs> Let me see how I want to dissect this thing the easiest way. I guess changing the disc would be the first step. Damn it, I was looking at it over so I can get that off quicker. Just cut it off. Damn it. Cut it off this way. Wanna check my mics here? Just trying to get this old metal off. <laughs> I'd say me and Mikey, Mikey have a lot in common. <laughs> huh? Cut stuff up and don't matter.
So close, but not there. Probably would have hurt, and I still have two, <laughs> a couple layers to get off underneath the damn thing. Once I get it off, then I can get it in there and get it connected. Once I get it off, Heavy, heavy stuff. Wow, heavy stuff. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Alrighty, I got one piece holding that on. Let's get one cleaned off. Hardcore stuff. Hardcore. Hey, baby. Hardcore. I'm going to tear all pieces. I can take that right off, I suppose. Lay it right on the ground. Or can I? It can do. Look at that now. That'll make it a little easier to put it in. 
it will sew. Having it off like that. Oh, I, I would have never found it, my darling. I would never found it. a little piece out of her. That won't hurt her none. Looking a lot better. That one didn't look so good. Where did I put my chisel? Man, would you fell off? Love it. Come on. That almost took my head off. No such luck today, or yet. Not say today. Today's not over, is it, baby? Yeah. Whack me up the head here in a second. Wow. If you can buy. A cross member if you go to town or if you can buy you know an original cross member for a car and you pay $150 for it if you pay $200 for it just think about the labor it took to get it out oh. <laughs> think about the labor it took to get it out as you watch me try to peel this off there if you as you find something like that it's going to take the same amount of labor to get it out you know torches I guess you might be able to go a little quicker but uh, Still, still a bunch of work. All right. You can pop these off. Still a bunch of work.
Come on off there. I don't think they worked this hard building the car, did they? what I wanted. It's what I wanted. So now as we see this, I'm going to back this in here a little bit. Aye. So, not sure if I want it underneath or on top. So I can build a bracket over top and hold it in place, bring this up in here and do whatever. Or I can build it underneath and have it set, you know, underneath the chassis. That'll be builder's discretion. And I want to put something underneath the back of them wishbones, hold that up. So more or less you can see what's going on. Uh, bah, bah, bah. I had a small jack here, I've left it there. You can see sort of what Sort of. You can see what I got going on there. And that's what I want to do. I want to put that front end in there. I'm going to have to build some some brackets to to apply that front cross member. Uh, this front cross member here has got to do with this. Used to have pair, uh, uh, leafs leaves in it this way. We got we're going this way. We're changing it up because of we put two sets of leaves in it. Well, it's, it's heavier than one set of leaves. That's what I'm thinking. Also, I'd like to drill, maybe drill some holes in this. We'll get some holes in probably everything, I guess. We'd like to drill some holes in the, in the straight axle if I could. I'd like to get some holes in this, holes in the chassis. But basically, that's what I'm going for, is a gasser, a chop gasser on the back of a COD, cab over distributor, that you've never seen before. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm having fun building stuff and uh that's what i'm giving you know throwing out the word to mike back he's, he's building stuff man he's having fun so basically that's what it's all about going out and making something making it with what you have and doing the best job you can to make yourself happy and that's what i'm doing with this and the race car and the truck i'm going to do it all to make us happy 
Jolene, you're a beautiful, beautiful woman today. Wow. All right, everybody. That's what I'm going to do with the front end of the chassis. Or do you want to give away a hat or shirt? We're going to give away a hat or a shirt. Let's do it. And the only reason I'm not going for the brackets is because I want to take a little time to think about the best way. That's basically the end of it. Can we do it right here or have to go up front? Have to go up front. Ooh, that was hot out there, but I got done what I need to get done. I got that front end under there. I got the, the cross member peeled away, everything peeled away. And you really have to get that stuff peeled out of there because it's not going to look good if you don't. And, and the, the amount of weight that I pulled off the front end of that, just that cross member, what I pulled off that frame, was amazing how heavy that stuff is. 369 comments. We want to thank everybody that threw in a comment on that one. We're changing it up because we're trying to get this... I'm trying to get this, uh, you know, this flathead race car sort of geared up so I can move, push it in and out. Winter's coming, and we're into September, so. Quinn Warman, you want a hat or shirt of your choice. Your mistakes with stopping the, the ether when turning the motor over at fire. Keep squirting the ether in the car because you'll soon stop the ether. The motor will stop. Yeah, we, we tried, man, but we, uh, I think we, we, well, I know we burnt the starter up in it, and we did the best we could do. I know you had your fingers crossed for me and you, but it did not start, but we'll do it again. We'll fix the starter, and we'll fix, we'll get the carburetor hooked up, and we'll go for it again. Hopefully, I can get some wheels underneath of it so we can move it in and out when we want to work on it. That's basically what I'm trying to do, and uh, when it gets cold and wet and all that sort of stuff, that's when I start throwing some more mud at the old uh, Merc, or the cab over. And I'll get Jolene to help me. Signing off, everybody. Have a great day. Sunday fun day.